This building is a technological marvel that will allow us to do things with education both in this building and outside of this building that never could have been done with our current facilities. We started the process of developing the curriculum at the same time that we were planning for a new facility that would allow us to expand our class size. And this was a very fortunate coincidence because it allowed us to take the components of the curriculum and map them onto a physical space and create new types of spaces for new types of learning. Focusing on facts is one thing, but focusing on integration and application of knowledge is another. And that's what our curriculum is designed to do. <laughs> 25,000 feet of simulation space. This is the floor which is going to be our clinical space. There are 14 patient rooms. We are going to be working from the very first day of medical school with standardized patients. Uh, it's very important that we have a merger of the clinical aspects of the curriculum with the basic sciences. Uh, the students can come in, they can start from the very beginning. In fact, they'll go through a boot camp where they'll learn a lot of the fundamentals of how to obtain a history and a physical examination. Uh, the rooms are are really cool in terms of there are mirrors where you can stand on the outside, you can observe on the inside, uh, you can audio tape, videotape the encounters with the standardized patients. This is what you'd see if you're going in any operating room in the United States. Uh, one of the nice pieces about the simulation space is that it allows people to come in on this floor and if you look at some of the other spaces we have a simulated operating room, uh, emergency department, intensive care unit, uh, labor and delivery. In fact, they can recreate with just about any one of these rooms, any kind of clinical scenario that you want to. You see over here that you have your air which in, and your oxygen. You have vacuums that you can actually uh, suction patients if you need to. Uh, you have a button so you can call a code if a person has a cardiac arrest. The emphasis in the new curriculum is that students will be discovering knowledge. So the role of faculty changes from coming in and delivering the information to the students to the faculty being facilitators of knowledge. So when you look around the room, you'll see that there are cables that are in uh, different places. Each one of these represents where a collaboration table will be. It allows for six students to be at each table. Each one has their own laptop computer. And also there are three screens in the entire room where whatever is being presented can be projected onto the wall for everyone. This is the best way to help students retain information, be able to critically think, be able to problem solve, and to get them excited about education so they want to continue working with it. This is our learning theater, and there's several things that make it different from an auditorium. One is that we don't have auditorium type seating that you see in a stadium. At any point during, you can go from a large group session where you have a typical lecture where you can have students that are on one row turn their chairs around and work collaboratively with the students behind them in a small group. So the idea is to get the faculty member out from behind the lectern in there interacting with the students. This is a common area where everyone can gather. Uh, there's lots of plush seating, there'll be some kiosks with computers, areas for people to be able to get together and to informally talk. It's a living, breathing, uh, from the outside, people working in it, it's part of their life and we wanted this to be an essential part of it for student living too. Team-based learning, individual problem-based learning, and simulation. We're looking for people who will change the health of the nation, change the health of their patients. That's the outcome we want.